Good day, everyone, and welcome to Learn English with Blaine. And this is your intermediate dictation number 18. And the topic is health. The topic is health. So remember, do you have your pen and paper ready? Because remember, you are going to listen and then write what you hear on your paper. And so there will be seven dictations, and I will say each one three times. And remember, if you make a few spelling mistakes or if you miss a few words, do not worry. It's just a matter of getting some listening practice and some writing practice. Okay, so let's get started now with dictation number one. My son asked me, if he could play a video game with his friends. But I told him no because we need to limit his time playing games. My son asked me, my son asked me if he could play, if he could play a video game with his friends. A video game with his friends, comma. But I told him no, but I told him no because we need to, because we need to Limit his time, limit his time playing games, playing games. My son asked me if he could play a video game with his friends, comma, but I told him no because we need to limit his time playing games. Okay, let's go on to dictation number two. In my free time, I really enjoy running or studying Spanish, semicolon. Of course, taking time to relax is also important. In my free time, in my free time, I really enjoy, I really enjoy running or studying Spanish, semicolon. Of course, of course, comma, Taking time to relax, taking time to relax is also important, is also important. In my free time, I really enjoy running or studying Spanish, semicolon. Of course, comma, taking time to relax is also important. Okay, so let's move on to dictation number three. And again, in this sentence, notice that we can use the semicolon sometimes, right? If this information and this information is related, is very related, we can use a semicolon. The first word after the semicolon will not be capitalized because the semicolon acts similar to a comma. Okay, but well let's move on to dictation number three, everyone. Okay. One of the best things we can do in our free time is to help others. Semicolon. When we do, comma, our problems seem a little smaller. 
one of the best things, one of the best things we can do, we can do in our free time, in our free time, is to help others, is to help others, semicolon. When we do, when we do, comma, our problems seem, our problems seem a little smaller, a little smaller. So I'll give you a few seconds to, to finish that up. And remember everyone, if you have any questions about these dictations or the, the grammar or anything, just leave a comment in the, in the comment section. Okay. One of the best things we can do in our free time is to help others, semicolon. When we do, comma, our problems seem a little smaller. Okay, we're going to move on now to dictation number four. We need to make sure that we get enough sleep every night. Semicolon. This will help us to feel fresh, strong, and mentally alert in the morning. We need to make sure we need to make sure that we get enough that we get enough sleep every night sleep every night semicolon this will help us this will help us to feel fresh, to feel fresh, comma, strong, strong, and mentally alert, and mentally alert in the morning in the morning. We need to make sure that we get enough sleep every night, semicolon. This will help us to feel fresh, strong, and mentally alert in the morning. We need to make sure that we get enough sleep every night. This will help us to feel fresh, strong, and mentally alert in the morning. Okay, let's move on now to dictation number five. For years, studies have shown that consuming too much sugar can damage our bodies, period. One study suggests that we should take in no more than 16 grams of sugar a day. For years, for years, studies have shown, studies have shown that, that consuming too much sugar that consuming too much sugar can damage our bodies, can damage our bodies, period. One study suggests, one study suggests that we should, that we should take in no more Take in no more 
then 16 grams, then 16 grams of sugar a day, of sugar a day. For years, studies have shown that consuming too much sugar can damage our bodies, period. One study suggests that we should take in no more than 16 grams of sugar a day. When we say we should take in, that means that we should eat. So it, it could say one study suggests that we should eat no more than 16 grams of sugar a day. Or we can say we should take in no more than 16 grams of sugar a day. They're, they, those expressions mean the same thing. Okay, so let's move on now to dictation number six. Dictation number six. Another point to consider is how much water we drink every day. Period. Most doctors say that for the average person, comma, six to eight cups of water per day should be okay, period. If you are very active, comma, you should drink a little more, exclamation. Another point to consider, another point to consider is how much water is how much water we drink every day. We drink every day, period. Most doctors say, most doctors say that for the average person, that for the average person, comma, six to eight cups of water per day, six to eight cups of water per day should be okay, should be okay, period. If you are very active, if you are very active, comma, you should drink, you should drink a little more, a little more. Another point to consider is how much water we drink every day, period. Most doctors say that for the average person, comma, six to eight cups of water per day should be okay. If you are very active, you should drink a little more. Okay, everyone, let's move on now to our final dictation of this video, dictation number seven. It's easy to get confused when it comes to health and nutrition, period. Even qualified experts seem to hold opposing opinions, comma, which can make it difficult to figure out what you should actually be doing to optimize your health. Okay, sorry everyone, this is kind of a long one, so I'm going to go through this a little bit slower. It's easy to get confused. It's easy to get confused when it comes to when it comes to health and nutrition. Health and nutrition. Period. 
even qualified experts, even qualified experts, experts often seem to hold, often seem to hold opposing opinions, opposing opinions, comma, which can make it difficult, which can make it difficult to figure out, to figure out what you should, sorry, what you should actually, what you should actually be doing, be doing to optimize, to optimize your health your health I'm going to say this one once more it's easy to get confused when it comes to health and nutrition period even qualified experts even qualified experts often seem to hold opposing opinions comma which can make it difficult, which can make it difficult to figure out, to figure out what you should actually be doing, what you should actually be doing to optimize your health, to optimize your health. Okay, it's easy to get confused when it comes to health and nutrition, period. Even qualified experts often seem to hold opposing opinions, comma, which can make it difficult to figure out what you should actually be doing to optimize your health. Okay, everyone, I want to thank all of you for watching this video today. My apologies because I think maybe this this was an intermediate intermediate dictation, but I think it was more a little bit more advanced as well. So thank you so much for sticking in there and, and going through the entire video. Remember, leave your comments or questions in the comments section below the video. I really appreciate uh, your comments and your questions, and I'd really like to... Um, Make sure that I get to see and respond to each of those. And remember also, if you like the video, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. And thank you so much, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.